Enchanted fam! Welcome to the channel and thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Today's video is going to be a Disney subscription box unboxing, which are my favorite kind of unboxings. So if any of that interests you, please stick around. If you are brand new here, my name is Rita and I post all kinds of Disney content here on my channel, as well as some lifestyle and corgi related things. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you. And if you are returning back, welcome back you guys. I love you. So today's Disney subscription box unboxing is none other than Circa 1955 and they are a candle subscription company and I'm gonna say it again and I say it in every single video they are a whole experience candle box it is not just candles in this box like she literally they takes you through a whole entire experience when you are going through this box so this month's theme is um, if i'm not mistaken it's pirates of the caribbean and uh this is i think the 50th box so it says 50th circa 1955 box which is so cool um love that she um you know she's been so successful nicole is a curator of this box if at any time you are interested in getting yourself a circa 1955 box i do have a coupon code for you which I will link here for you um, and then also down below per usual the description to get a box will be down below so you could definitely give her a check out um, once again love every single box I've ever gotten it is so amazing she does theme boxes like for Christmas time and stuff like that or like May the 4th she'll do like Star Wars ones really really awesome definitely great gift boxes so in any case let's just go ahead and jump right into this baby because like I said it's gonna be a whole entire experience in this thing Okay, so first off, it says, strike your colors, you bloomin' cockroaches, uh, or by thunder will burn the city to the ground. Oh, Lord have mercy. Um, ye come seeking adventure and salty old pirates, eh? Sure, you come to the proper place. Do you guys like my pirate impression? Dead men tell no tales. Um, what? Here? Oh, here. Here you be spot. Here you be spot. How's about a nice juicy bone when they're trying to convince the little doggy with the key so they can break out of jail? All right. Oh, I didn't really show you the box. I mean, she does an amazing job with her boxes all the time. This is like right when you're going, um, you know, to like I think the first fall, right when you're gonna do the first fall in Pirates, it's like right on top. And then here is this one right over here. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments down below if and and I better get I better see the right answers here, okay? If you like Pirates of the Caribbean more in Disneyland or in Walt Disney World. I mean, this is a no-brainer for a lot of people. I feel like I've I've had this conversation with a lot of people, and I feel like unanimously most people pick one or the other. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, mine is Disneyland, hands down. It does it's not even a question. But you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments: Are you Team Disneyland or Team Walt Disney World when it comes to pirates? Okay, and if you pick Walt Disney World, I just need you to really explain yourself, okay? Let's just put it that way. If you pick Walt Disney World, be prepared to explain yourself. All right, this thing is like so stuffed it can't even open. Ugh. Okay, here we go. It says, Dead Men Tell No Tales. She's so great with te theming. I love her themes. All right, let's open this baby up. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Even like right when you look right over here, I'm already getting all the pirate vibes. Okay, so here's my card. It says, time to set sail, first mate, Enchanted Rita. So that is how the card looks. And then it says, the 50th circa 1955 box. Okay, let's open this baby up. Oh my gosh, how cute. She totally had to have handcrafted this. Oh my gosh, and it came out so good. Look how cute this is, you guys. Totally could put this in a frame and use it as decor. Oh my god, I love this. Nicole, did you make this? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, yo ho, yo ho. You, we've been celebrating 50 circa boxes this month. Um, wait, we've been okay. Hold on. 
Yo ho, yo ho. We be celebrating 50 circa boxes this month. The colors are hoisted, the grog is bottled, and the treasure awaits. Set sail with us as we celebrate all things pirates. Rita, thank you for all of your support. We couldn't reach this milestone without you. Blessings, Nicole. Thank you so much, Nicole. I'm so happy to like just uh, work with you with your boxes because seriously, so amazing. Um, explore the seven seas with the Circa scent that started it all. Inspired by the murky waters of the Disneyland Pirates of the Caribbean attraction, we want the redhead. Celebrate the adventure with our own Circa 1955 grog. Inspired by the mint julep bar, just a stone throw away from the attraction, it's a refreshing drink loved by lad lovers and pirates alike a pirate's life for me that is so cute so there is that so normally in each of her boxes she always has like an adventure scent kind of and then she has like a sweet treat or like a treat kind of scent so that's always fun but like I said there's gonna be more in here than just candles so first off I have this little like with the little crossbones I'm very curious what this is Let's see. I'm telling you, it's always so fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so the first one, it's the key. Uh, it says, I not be needing this anymore. The bone be mighty tasty. You can open your grog bottles with this too. Oh my goodness. Look how cool. So it's like a key. That is so cute. And it's like really, it's like a really nice key actually. So I got the key. I can get out of jail. Okay, next. Oh my gosh. What is this? Next item. This says scuttle and plunder. Oh my lord. What is this? Oh, this is my scent. Okay. Oh, I wonder if both of these are the scents. I thought there's a big box in here that I thought was the scent. Oh yeah, okay. So, oh, she likes to spice it up on me. So these two boxes are scents. So there's something else then. Oh my goodness. What do we got here? Oh lord. Okay, so now we have this item in a like a cute red box. And it says, thank you for sailing with us even if you be a scallywag. Better take your bounty before Captain Nicole changes her mind. <laughs> oh my goodness. So there is that. Let's open this baby up and see what's in here. Uh... Oh, here. Hello. I know how to open boxes. What is this? Oh. Oh, my gosh. How funny. Oh, my gosh. How nice. So, it says circa 1955. Drink up me hearties. Yo, ho. Look how nice this is. Oh, my gosh. So it's like a really nice, like, glass mug. Uh, really, really nice. And then, if you can tell, it says... Circa 1955, drink up me hearties, yo ho. And then she filled it with a bunch of like Hershey's chocolates. Oh, that's so cool. Like in a nice way to also celebrate like 50 boxes. That is really, really cool. So definitely need to have a drink out of this. Really, really awesome. Okay, now we get to our box, our, um, get to our candles. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's a little paper in here too, at the very bottom. Let's see what it says. It says, word of advice, young man. Storms signal, storm signals are up for number 17. Bit of heavy weather over there. Admiral Bloom. All right, that's so, she's so like very much into theming. Okay, so the first one that I'm pulling out is Circa Grog. Oh, okay, so definitely is like a mint julep. Oh my gosh. Smells nice. So it has like, it almost smells like Sprite and mint. If that makes any sense. That's what it smells like to me. Oh, it's nice. It's like nice and subtle. Ooh, this is nice. So it has to have like a mint undertone for sure. And then it almost has like a little bit of like a Sprite smell. That's so cool. Very good smell. And totally bringing me mint julep vibes. Okay, and then if I didn't show you guys the box again. Here is the box. And then this is the We Wants the Redhead, which I think is going to be like Pirate's Water, which I'm obsessed with. Yep. Oh my gosh. It literally smells like Pirates of the Caribbean water. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, go ride Pirates of the Caribbean, smell the water, and that's what it's going to smell like. Oh, it smells so nice. Ah, I 
love that one. This is a really good smell. Definitely cannot get enough of Pirate's Water. So really, really good smell. So uh, this was the um, 50th circa 1955 box. It was Pirates of the Caribbean theme. I totally went like Pirates out for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this box. Let me know between the two scents which one you would prefer. So we have like the Pirates of the Caribbean water or like a mint julep. What two, What between the two smells, which one would you like? So thank you guys once again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.